Sorry. Hey guys, it's Tark with Cyclone. There you go. <laughs> okay, well there goes that introduction. Let me just show you. Who's... <laughs> Not my fault. No, you're funny. Hold on. So, so uh, this is. Uh, let me flip this around. There's my customer Larry right there. Say what's up. All right, so that's him. He didn't realize we were recording at the time. So I am actually working on something for him. Let me go picture in picture, and I'll just leave his face up there for the time being. So we're working on. He's getting a, 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 the the Viron 35 CR analog edition, and he's asked to have the. Uh, uh, we're gonna put a Free Sky RXSR on here for him that will work with his Radio Master. You running the eight? An right? RSSR. Uh, RXSR. Will that bind to my? Yes, it's yes. It's just the it's the higher of the two models. So you have RXSR and you have XM Plus. Uh -huh. uh, RXSR is the higher of the Number two. two or, oh. It's like the better. It's like the, the, the upgrade version. Okay. okay. And so it's the it's it's got it's a dual antenna, longer range that also supports a couple more features in the XM Plus. So okay. it's like the upgrade. But that that um, that software feature is in the Yes, it'll work with the Radio Master. Okay. Yes. Okay, so so you ready? You ready to get started? Okay, <laughs> okay. here we go. All right, so here we go. So I'm gonna flip this around, here we go. So um, all right, so we're going to get ready to do this, guys, and we're going to put his drone on here. I'm going to show you guys how to do it, and we are going to put the RXSR. Uh, I just happen to have one sitting on my bench right now, and we know that that is the number one selling radio, uh, receiver that FreeSky has, has uh, and, uh, and it's just got the best quality. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So let me do a picture in picture here, and uh, here we go. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take this apart, and Larry, you're going to watch this, do this, and see what happens, okay? So I do not like, let me see if I can... Just for the time being, so this thing doesn't rock while I'm trying to work on it. Let me see if I can just take these out and um, this way I can lay it flat. I just want it to lay kind of flat while I work on it. So we'll take these four out, uh, which will, I guess, release. Are you going to be flying a GoPro on this? Do you want the mount on here? No. So when I put it back together, I'm going to take the mount off. Okay, I'll just give you the mount as extra. Uh, you can just put the, if please you ever change your mind. Them, please save them just in case. Yeah, yeah. It, I'll put it in your box, but I'm just going to, I'm going to put the camera, I don't want the camera falling out while I'm working on this, so I'm going to put this back fine. on. That's great. No, uh, you can put that in the box and I'll okay. save her for later. You got it. Yeah. You never know what might happen. I might get good enough to fly this with a camera someday. Okay, so, but we are, <laughs> we are on the understanding that if you crash, there is a chance that you might break the plastic, um, the Wait. plastic uh, uh, prop guards, right? Um, we are. <laughs> you're not gonna. <laughs> believe me, um, there isn't a drone I can't break. Fair enough. Fair enough. There you go. Appreciate that. And I don't even fly fast. It's just that I make mistakes inverted, <laughs> and I hit the ground on the side many times. Fair enough. All right. So I'm gonna take that out. So there's that. All right. Now we can just tighten it and make sure everything's good. And it is. Oh, this is great. All right. Now. Yeah, my spotter might be able to see this. Yep. Well, you've got um, you've got yellow as well on the outside. Yeah. If you want to put that, so that'll be yeah, good. That, we'll see I'll, it on I'll the, add that on there for you before you leave. That way, you got it all ready to go. We'll see it on the ground with that yellow on it. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. Oh, I guess I'll put that on there then. Let me just. Okay. Well, tell you what, I'm going to take it off. It's easier for me to work with it off. I'll just put it back on when we're done. Um, so FreeSky, I mean, uh, HDLRC does give us the wires here uh, so that, you know, they're pretty cool about that. They're one of the only companies that leaves the wires pre-done, but I do not want to use those wires because I want to kind of uh, do a little bit, tuck it in a little bit more. So we're going to take this top off here. Is this a pusher? Yeah. Okay. Okay. What's my risk of uh, rearming if I land upright? Um, and what's my risk of bending a prop if I'm on the grass and try to rearm and take off again? Um, Are these props extremely bendable? Well, yeah. I mean, okay. I I I would say that. Uh, the way this is done, and I believe the way that they intended for it to be done, let me see something and I'll tell you very quickly. Well, actually, I see a pretty good distance between the prop and the bottom of it. Yeah, you have distance. The only I difference is, is that you could still get grass inside there if you, if you if went If I run a way. tree, I would be scared. Now, 
that thing should bend a blade of grass if it's not too strong. Okay. Yeah, well, but I believe that the way they've, and that's what I was looking at we here. We will find out. Well, what the, the way they've configured it is that the battery will go on the bottom. And because of that, the your oh, drone, the battery's yeah, the, the battery's bottom. above, so you'll be lifting. You could put the battery on the top, okay. but the battery goes on the bottom, so you're sitting that off the ground like I, this anyway. I like that. I think the stability better. Yeah, better yeah. so there. I wouldn't, that's why I wanted to verify. That is what they seem to have been doing here. Okay. And so I think that'll be your best bet. Okay, so I've got to be careful on the surface I fly, and I don't want to scrape those batteries, so I'm staying off of concrete as much as I possibly can. Yeah, and yeah. what you can do, there's a little trick with batteries that you can do. There's two things. You can use a battery sled. We printed them, and they work really well. Um, and so they basically go, uh, you heat shrink them inside into the battery, right? So that they're, they're the only thing touching the ground, okay? Um, battery sleds have saved a lot for me. On the other hand, you can put those rubber standoffs well, on the battery and I, you'd be just I as will fine. Tape, I'm going to tape some foam rubber. Well, that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And when you do that, then it stands it up, and, you know, and then you can put the strap in between those. That at least give me, it give me something to, to scrape off. Yeah, of. fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. So um, what they've done is they've given us here. This is where, if you see those three wires right there, right? See those one, two, and three? Okay. That's uh, where the receiver wire is. That's this right here. Okay. We're going to remove that, and we're going to plug, plug the RXSR in instead. So let me just turn on the... Um, do you have to solder them, or can you, does it a plug? It's a solder. Okay. Now, I can convert it to a plug, but I would just think for now as a solder. If you don't mind, I want to watch this solder. Yeah, of course. I'm going to learn of something course. here. Of course. So what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to take this off to get there, okay? But I would suggest that if somebody was doing it and they weren't comfortable with it, remove the VTX. Uh, if you're going to just so that you don't damage it um, But I'm gonna be able to solder around it. So let me just get this. Oh, you've done this a time. Ago. Yeah, a couple times, you know, so <laughs> it's okay I, I, I got it. I have a little bit of faith not much but a little I'm bit of faith worried. in myself I'm not worried. Um, And so we're gonna zip tie to the back the receiver um, But I don't want to this the RXSR has its own plug and I do not want to um, Tap into that if I can avoid tapping okay. into existing wires. So what I'm gonna do is take my glasses here and let's get started. Okay, so there's our S plus. And then the red one is gonna be our five volt. So we can give that a second, there we go. And then our black one is our ground. What temperature is your iron at? If I uh, right now it's at 400 Celsius. Got it. Okay, that's okay. This data will help me when I make an attempt to fix my other quads. There you go. Okay. okay. What's your policy about me flying out here in your site? You can go ahead and fly if you like. Thanks. It is basically, uh, as long as I know you and I approve it, you're good. Oh, and you can't smoke drugs. Can't, can't what? You cannot smoke pot. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, but it's, it is a rule that there's, this is a drug-free zone. You're going to have to save all that partying for a later time. <laughs> just saying, just want to put that out there ahead of time. Rats. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I've never touched any of that stuff in my life. Well, it is a, it is a, we are a drug-free zone, and, uh... <laughs> can I drink energy drinks? You, you can do that, yes, but in moderation. I'm going to be right back. i got to get something to remove some of that solder. Okay. <laughs> I was watching Bardwell's video of that Korean kid racing on his property. Yeah. Holy cow. What was he on? Oh, I don't know. But I'm telling you, that kid, that kid is so quick. It's unbelievable. It is. It, what these kids can do now is crazy. In, unbelievable. Yeah. All right, I got to separate this solder here. There was a lot of solder on here, so I'm just going to... Now I'm going to make it a bigger job than it needed to be. But they put a lot more solder than I expected on here, so I'm just going to go ahead and clean that up because it's <clears throat> it's too close. I don't like the way it is. So let me clean that up, and it's bridged now because I 
put those next to each other so we'll just make this look better. Oh, that's great. That's great. Well, won't be too hard to repair it after I do my first crash. Don't anticipate the crash. You gotta, you're jinxing yourself. Well, believe me, I'm gonna fly it. And I'm gonna do the best I can to keep it in the air. I hope so. That would be ideal. That's what I'm <laughs> hoping to hear. Uh, this, this is kind of getting exciting. <laughs> get a real quad. Yeah. All right, so let's get let's get this going here. Okay, okay and it has a, a, a beta flight. It, it has a USB entry where I can go into beta flight and set up the switches. Mm -hmm. Okay, or should okay, I'm good. Okay, now that Man, that's done. It's fun to watch a professional work. Oh, I, I don't know how me a professional. I'm just, I'm just winging it. <laughs> but I think this is how it's supposed to go. <laughs> Okay, you're going to put that in with tweezers, okay. Yeah, I'm just going to pass it through the center okay, here. Okay, so you, the connector pops in, you solder it to the... Rec if I've got room, I'm hoping that they gave me room, but it doesn't look like i got much room, so... I'm now, gonna... did you mount a new flight controller? No, the flight uh, controller... Not, I mean a new receiver? I, well, that's what I'm doing right okay, now. Okay, you're mounting a new... Re yeah, so uh, I'm getting ready to do... But receiver. the problem is it's trying to pass that through. is getting stuck, so I'm just going to lift the VTX just enough so I can get this okay. over here because I want to put the receiver in the back. This is a 300 milliwatt VTX, is that correct? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, is, it, is it go 350? I think it, I thought the, I thought the Zeus went 350, but I, it could be, I'll well, check that, it that's out. plenty. I, where I fly, 25 should get, get me, uh, get me fine. And I've flown the, uh, the, uh, oh, what do you call, um, I find their HCL micros with that 350 camera. Yeah. I've never had to go above 25. Oh yeah, then you'd be good. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, now that that's done, is we are going to now take this and we are going to uh, put it in heat shrink right here. What millimeter size heat shrink you use? Um, you know, that's a good question. I don't measure it. I just have spools of it sitting up there. But I will tell you that Two that, or three. that is, uh, oh no, so this is going to be one and a half centimeters this way. So, um, uh, if I order heat shrink, I just need to know what size. Yeah, so I would, I believe that we have this labeled as 10, 15 centimeters, 15 millimeters, 15 millimeters in width. So, and I'll show you exactly how we do it. So well, that's in length. I'm wondering yeah. about the diameter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, let me see. Uh, heat shrink. Oh, that's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll get your heat shrink. Yeah, okay, so it's, I see it's, which one. It's 15 millimeter. So that's 14 or 15 millimeter. So the way I have it measured yeah, on the side is like you this. You have different diameters. I don't know which one you're Yeah, using. this is it. This is the 15. So this one here, okay, is 1.5 centimeters or 15 millimeters. So if you went on my site, you would say I want a 15 millimeter, and then you can pick how long you want it. So I'm just doing it like this. Oh, 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 oh. See what excuse I'm saying? me. Yeah. I thought it was for the wire. Excuse oh, me. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't get all that technical. <laughs> my, okay, my error. Uh, you're, you're trying to stump me right now. I get it. You're trying to stump me. No, and... no, no, no. You're using it for something else. I thought we were doing on wires. We were using on... Oh, on yeah, on just on this, on this, yeah. Okay. So, I got you. I understand. All right, so let's go ahead and... It's plugged in. I'll put our heat shrink on here. Okay. Oh, you're going to shrink wrap. I want to. Sh I want to put this around here so I don't short it out, so okay. it's protected. In your humble opinion, I dumped a beta meteor light in the pond yesterday. Pulled it out quickly. Disconnect the battery. Is there any chance in the world of resurrecting it? Sure. I mean, it's 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 um. 
we've been having this conversation. That's why I did that live water test a couple days ago. Um, there's a lot of conversation. People say they've dumped their stuff in the lake. I mean, it definitely makes a difference if it's lake versus salt water, obviously. Um, and yeah. usually if you'll dry it out, just let it dry out. You, you might you might be okay. I mean, it's um, it's kind of a toss up there, but it's not a guarantee it's not gonna work by any means. You should be okay. You can just give it a shot. Okay, I'm gonna give it, t I'm gonna give it at least 24 hours mm -hmm. and I blue dry it. Then I'm just gonna charge your battery, stick it in and see what I get. Yeah, see what happens. All right. Uh, you know, um, you could you could start by just plugging it into the USB and see if you get any reaction oh, under five volts so that you're not putting I can't, it. I can't plug into USB. It's uh, like silver. Okay. Okay. So, um, so then what you can do? What what is that? Um, was it a one S or two S? One S. Yeah, that's fine. Then just use your battery. That's yeah. fine. Okay. Okay. So we're going to do now. Is well, that's right. I'll, I'll pull the motors off. Put them on that 0603, which doesn't have enough thrust. <laughs> to, keep, to keep me to out, bail of, you out keep, of the keep me out of the ground. I feel you. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to take a. Um, let's see on the mess here. Where is my? I'm close. I'm close. I'm getting there. I'm close. Just looking for a zip tie. Here it is. Put the bag zip tie. Now I'm going to try to set this so you can get to the bind button, okay? That'd because be I don't want it to be an obstacle course for you well, here. Well, uh, I'll, I'll bait it in beta flight if if I can't get it to the bind button. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Let me see. I think I think I might be able to. It'll be close. I can offset it. Uh, let me see where the bottom plate is. So this one is here. Oh, I'll just leave it this way. You'll be able to get to it here. This is an SPI receiver. Uh, no. This is RX. This is a D16. D16. D16 right. S bus setup. S bus. Mm -hmm. That means I can say bind underscore RX if I have to mm -hmm. in beta flight. Depending on the version of beta flight. When they change the beta flight versions, they also change the commands for binding. Okay, I've so, got 4.2 configurator. Uh, yeah, so I think that you're you're correct on what you just said. I've got it on the website for making. Okay, so, as a okay. matter of fact, I made the notes after we did your last one because uh, we were setting up that HDLRC, I think, petrol. Okay. And uh, I think that's what it was, or no, maybe it was a happy model, I can't remember. But on one of yours, I ended up making notes on the website oh, for it. What happened was, is I had, I think it was an early version of an Emacs NanoHawk. Okay. And the bind button never worked for me. That's it. And that, and uh, get FPV and beta FPV, and I went around in circles for a long time. Finally, Julio bailed me out of that. That's right, that's right. Now I remember. He put it in beta flight and bound it, bound and, it. and I was back in the air until I threw four props and then you had to come back in and reload the software. <laughs> hey, that's okay. Yeah, you remember that. I right? do remember that. Yes, sir. All right, so that's done. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get your motor put back on. Uh, let's go ahead and assign this back. Uh, let me see. So this is going to go down the arm right here. This will go in here. How's Hulu? Is he okay? Yeah, he's doing fine from what I hear. Okay. He's doing good. I'm not going to ask what happened. It's none of my business. Well, we're making a video right now, so it probably wouldn't be the best to try to address that because this video is going to be seen. So we'll leave the <laughs> private business to okay. not the public. But he's doing fine. I, okay. I'm sure he's doing I've seen him online chatting, and he seems okay. to be doing fine. Well, I sent him a text message thanking him for all the help he gave to me, and I never got one back. So I. Well, it I, may have been, depending on if you sent it, I know his phone was changing, so I don't know if he ever got that it. That was just after... I knew that he left here. Yeah, so I don't know. I know that uh, I think he had a phone issue and he had to switch something over. I'm not sure exactly, but okay. Um, okay. I don't know if he ever he got it. But it's not, it wouldn't be like him to not respond. So yeah. I'm sure he may not have gotten it because okay. he's pretty good about always responding to people. Okay. Are you going to ever get any help? Well, if anybody ever really wants to work honestly, I might. Yeah, I, okay, that tells me what I needed to know. Okay. You're alone, okay. This I didn't I didn't create the lazy environment. I just can't put up with it. <laughs> well, believe me, I understand. When I was working, I had the most experience there writing the code. I understood the theory. I understood the math. I understand the physics. Mm -hmm. And whenever we had to write a new tool, the, the company hired people fresh out of school. Those poor kids 
had a little bit of math, a little bit of physics, and they understood a little bit, mm -hmm. but they didn't understand enough to write the tool. And you can teach them all day long, but until you actually write a tool and actually go through the process, and so I ended up writing all the code myself. And because if I didn't, we wouldn't have it. So well, I understand what you're saying. I'll tell you like this, it's not to, it's not to be negative on any person, mm -hmm. it's just to say that um, what's the best way to put it? Nobody works as hard as I do, and 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 that's not a dig on anyone. It's just that it's my company, so it's my name, yeah. so it's my reputation. Yeah. And I can tell you that I have the worst reputation for working with people. Okay, <laughs> because I don't have, and it's it's it, it. I'll tell you, I'm the first one to say that I'm I'm not a good person. I'm not a nice person to work for because I because I got. People say, oh, well, you don't have a boss. You're your own boss. I'm like, every customer is my boss, which means that when they yell at me, I got to deal with it. When everybody else is finally at home, they got their paycheck, I'm still dealing with the customer that's unhappy. And so at the end of the day, sometimes it's just better to do well, it yourself. There's very few people who've had your experience and done what you've done. And the thing is, is that in order to, for somebody to, to do that, they're going to have to do it for years. Yeah, it's going to take a long time. Yeah. And so, and, and that's where the thing is, is that, God darn it, I'm trying to get this to grip here. I must be off just a little bit. And that's the problem. And that's where I have a lot to learn as, as far as working with people is I don't have the patience for it because my customers don't have the patience for it. So I would love to be able to say, hey, you know what, it's okay. You know, just try your best and we'll get it done. The customer's like, look, if I want to, if I want to sit here and pay for you to train your employees, I'll just go somewhere, you know, I'll just go somewhere else then where I don't have to wait this long. And, and they're right. So, you know, it's not that I'm, I'd like to say I'm not an, I hate to say the word asshole, but I am an asshole. And, it, and it's a curse that I've got that, that I don't think I'm ever gonna lose. Well, and it sucks. That's, that's why that's, you have customers. Is well, it's also why I lose customers. Is why I don't have very many friends. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I have never been one to be kind. Um, I have, I, not, you know, like kind when I'm in criticism. I don't, I don't think I get criticized kindly. So I, maybe I just haven't learned how to do it to people. But to me, it's like put on your big boy pants. We're here to work. We're here to make money. And and if you if you can't do it, then step aside. Yeah. Somebody else. I'm going to have to do it, and, and eventually I end up having to do it on. But that is not to, that is not saying negative about anybody in particular. That is just I'm. I'll agree that I'm the worst person to probably work for because I have no. Well, you want perfection. I, you I, want I do. Run. I want it to you be. Want it, you want I run. want somebody to do a drone or do their work as if it was theirs. And right now, I I would throw this thing in the water because I do not get my, my screw to grab. So hold on a second. Let me make sure I got the right one. Oh, you know what? I better grab the wrong one. Damn it. Let me see. Yeah, this is better. But but no, I'll, I'll I'll own that part. Is I think the biggest criticism against me is that I'm not a good person to work for, and it's true. I, I mean, my wife has been working with me for years, but she knows how to put up with me. She sees when a customer's yelling, and I'm going home stressed about it because you know they've been rude or something. But a lot of the other people they don't do that. And then and then the other thing is you know true, is and people look at that clock, and when it's time to go, they're gone. Work done or not, they're out. And I'm like, no, you get the job done, and you want to fly, fly later. You got to work. We got to play later, fly. You know, like, uh, mm -hmm. and that does cramp into people's style, and I can I can accept that. So, I think we've just figured out that I am an asshole. I know this is what it is, oh. but but I own that. I'm not even here trying to, to sugarcoat it. Uh, that's just the way it is. But if you want to own your own business, I guess you end up being an asshole sometimes. Well, yeah, well, when you have a business, you're responsible for everything, and you know, you, you've got to do what you have to do. Yeah, it's well, simple. you go ahead and tell that to everybody else, because I'm going to tell you right now that people do not accept that as a reason for, for very much. They do not uh, accept that at all. To them, it's, I've had, I've had people come in here, and I've had people in the last four years, you know, they're like, well, I want to fly. Well, good, good for you. Everybody wants to fly. And people that go, well, you're not, you don't fly enough. You don't care about it. I'm like, listen, dude, I care about this enough to make sure other people fly. Uh, but I care about it that much more than I do for my own, you know? If I wanted to fly, I could fly. You just wouldn't be sitting here getting your drone done, you know? And, and uh, that's more important to me. Uh, flying is playing. Uh, well, playing doesn't pay my house note. If I ever cause you any grief, let you me You absolutely know. cannot cause me grief. <laughs> How can you cause me grief? I don't know. <laughs> But, but it, all the people that even if they don't work out here, they're still good people. They're just not good for here, I guess. See me like I'm being politically correct right now. Well, 
I didn't realize how much there was to learn in all of this until I started oh, getting quads that I had to somehow get them in the air. <laughs> and, you know, sometimes I get lucky and I can pull out a motor plug and it was just a bad motor receipt or something, you know, mm -hmm. something stupid, mm -hmm. simple. And sometimes, especially on beta quads, and I don't want to pick on beta because I love their quads when they fly. They're fine. <laughs> you, what is that? Like a, that's like a very, what is that passive aggressive way yeah. to hit them? I love them when they fly. <laughs> yeah. Newbie drones fly better. Okay. They'll appreciate that. Uh, oh, they do. Uh, they're, but they're not for the real beginner. You better be ready. You better be awake when you fly a newbie drone uh, because it's, it's gone if you don't. Now, the easiest quad to fly beginner-wise is an Emax. Okay, okay. And they're very forgiving. Like the Baby Hawk? Is that what you're talking Tiny about? Hawk Tiny Hawk Okay. And it was a strong quad, very well built. I haven't bro broken my Tiny Hawk too. Okay. It's still flying. Another one I haven't broken yet, but I haven't flown it that much. I've flown it mainly in the house. Is my Emax Eashin rather Eashin Novice One, which I think is a Mobile of Seven, but it has been a very stable, strong quadcopter. Okay. Now, when I get it outside, we're going to see what happens. So <laughs> I, I just hope there's repair parts available for it. Well, I'm sure we can get you taken care of. <laughs> but but no, I, and all the modules I got from you, I haven't even opened yet. I have quads waiting to open and fly, but I bought them on sale, so I figure I'm covered in case the Chinese ditch us or dump us. Mm -hmm. And that's so, how I ended up with all this inventory. So I'm glad somebody understands the, <laughs> the process. Well, I'm worried about Newbie Drone right now because they haven't got anything brand new of their own to show. They've got a couple of quads that they have; they're they're brushless. But I asked them. I emailed Dalton and said. But where's your brush series? I want to replace the two that I broke. Trash them out. Tried an invert. Tried a power loop and ended up. And what with did my he neighbors. say? What was his response? Huh? What was you, you? You wrote him asking. You wrote Dalton about it. And what? What did he say? Well, he said we don't know what we're going to do for this year. And my guess is they're trying to deal. Should they go to ELRS? My guess they're going to try to figure out what to do with all the stuff that's coming out. Don may see this, and I'm sure he'll write you and answer that question for you. Uh, he's, I, I, they're in a chat room with me, uh, so I mean I can always reach out. But you know I think that everybody right now has found themselves in a point, their struggling point, not only because of China's the unknown yet of what's yeah. going on. Well, I think they're getting having troubles getting parts. They're having getting troubles getting yeah. chips. Yeah, yeah. I mean you got to, you know you. It's 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 a real toss up there because you know you have trouble getting stuff and then people get mad at you when you can't get stuff and you're like listen I didn't create this problem I'm 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 just as much uh, paying the price for it like everybody else all right so we've got your receiver mounted there we okay. can we can see the bind button from here I can at least access that and I'll it. point that out to you so to so me. okay so you could can you see that white plug. Here, it's, 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 this is in the way. I'm, I'm so, blind as a bat. Bring well, that's not going to help. But, okay, so here's your receiver. And there's the button right there. Point it out one more. Shine a light on it. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, well, hold on. See that little silver, that little, this right here. That little black and gold right, right there in the corner. It's got a, got a light. Um, uh, yeah, actually, I can take it off the, um, where did my head thing go? Here. Let's see if I can shine this with this. Sorry for No, no, you're good. You're good. Okay, so I don't know how to get the light to hit that spot. But you, you move the light around, and we're talking about right here. Can you see that right there? Okay, move your... That's a bind button? Right there. I don't see the black in the middle. Uh, it's there. And you can press it right there. Here, look. Let me show you this way. Let me do it this way. Hold on. Let me do it this way. Look at the computer screen. I want to put this so everybody else can see it too. So ready? Watch that screen right there, okay? Let me get the camera up on, and then let me show you where it is. Okay, hold on. The camera's still loading. It's giving us, give okay. it a second. And then I wanted to put us on the screen for everybody, so hold on one second. That way everybody can see where it is. Okay, so let me put this on the web too, so everybody can see it. 
So here is your uh, button right here. Let me let me focus. Okay, hold on. It takes me a second to get the focus right. Right. It's going to be, I'm going to tilt this up and it's going to be right here. Where the hell is my, right there. Do you see that? I'm going to put the mouse right over it, right there. That's your blind button. Okay, hold on. Okay. Yeah, now try to see. I wish I had my goggles. Well, you can put those on. Put those on if you want. Wipe them down if you want. Can put I put some, this on? Yeah, go ahead. I don't care. Just put these on. Put Lay this. those down somewhere. The, the flashlight's on. I don't know if that magnification will be okay for you, but... Right there. Can you... You want me to take it out? Yeah. Here, why don't you check that out? You check that out. Let me see if this is real quickly. Uh, I will tell this person that we will get back to him. Okay. You see what I'm talking about? See anything. Okay, so no, uh, you then, hold I, it and I'll is, point. Is this the right place to look? Yep, right here, right here, right there, right there. Oh, wait a minute, it's under that thing, it's under that. Okay, it's, oh, it's under the plastic. I see, hold on, okay, I right see. There. Okay, it's under the plastic. So if you look it's, at it, from, got it, it's under the plastic. So you can see it. Yes. Sir. Okay. Good. My awesome. Apologies. Okay. No, you're good. No need to apologize. There you go. You're good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So what we want to do now is, yeah, it's hidden. It's in there pretty good. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and bind this to my radio. Okay. And we're going to make sure that we can get some, uh, make sure we can verify that it works. Okay. Get some video and the motor spin, I guess. Yeah. That's the idea. Welcome to Open TF. Throttle warning. Okay, so let me go and switch to my XM series. This is going to be a RXSR. There we go. Select. Okay, now I the, I have the T light mm -hmm. or the or the T8 Pro. It's going to have the same essentially the same firmware. T, open TX is that? Well, that's what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to drop the open. I'm going to drop the firmware on this radio to match yours okay okay so i'm basically going to go to my firmware folder and i'm going to go to my tx I firmware and i'm going to is it change x2 uh, it's going to go to 1.1.3 okay. 1.1.3 would be the older firmware which is what your radio is going to run so i'm going to flash the internal module with that but when i go in there and i pick a, and i pick a protocol mm -hmm. it's going to be a fr sky x and then I'm going to go down to X2 for sub. Yes. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I could bind it to my TX16 if you'd like. No, 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 no. That's okay. That um, would be easier. That's okay. If I have trouble. Uh, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. So okay. you're you're basically running D16, um, and yeah, and so that's how you'll that's how you'll do it. But okay. I mean, trying to recall the memory options or this, the options from a radio master I'm not very good at it because I have to see it because mm -hmm. I don't work on those as much but I have one back here and I can bind it to that one and you'll follow the exact same steps so I'm gonna downgrade if this I one. I know this I brought my, my, my transfer that's okay no no I feel bad I can't do that I don't want you leaving here and not testing it with the same radio so even if even this even if that's the 16 versus the 8 it's still let me just do that and I'll make sure that I'm 100% accurate with what I'm telling you, so I don't go sending you down a rabbit hole of hell. <laughs> God knows I don't want to do that. Um, well, if I can't bind it, I'll just make another appointment, bring it in, we'll get it working. I'm not how working. much fun is that when you get home and you're excited with a new drone and you can't fly it? Hey. Welcome. That's the Cyclone hey, FPV way, by I've the way. I've been on this earth long enough to know <laughs> that anything can pull a surprise at any time. True, yeah. true, true, true. Let's see if I got enough battery power here. So I'm going to let this one continue its update anyway. And uh, let's flip my switches. And oh, good, we do have, we do have um, uh, enough battery here. So let me go to my. Oh my gosh, I always have to return. And then let me do this. There you go, model yeah, select. If you can show me so, which sub. So I have a free. I have the HTLRC. Uh, this is the SQ one thirty. 
Uh, I'll go this route. So let me just go here, select the model, and let me go in here. Okay, so I have FreeSky XD16. That is my uh, that is my setting. Okay, it's my internal set for multi FreeSky XD16. Does that make sense? And we're gonna see if that binds. Okay. Um, okay. So just D16 might mm -hmm. do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So okay. that's what we're gonna test right now. Okay. So let me go ahead and do okay. that, and let's see if we can get it to okay. bind. So let me put this okay. in bind mode. Okay. That's good. See, I'm learning here. I this is something well. Me too. I, now, because I'm like, okay, but <laughs> might as well give this a shot. So let me turn this around so I can get to my bind button. I'm gonna hold this down. Let me see what my power setting is at here. I'm at 30. Oh, yeah, do, 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 okay. Um, do you plug the battery in first? Uh, no, you hold the button down and then yeah. you plug it. Then you turn okay. it on. Okay, so now oh, I've got my right. solid yeah. lights. That's right. Excellent. So my lights are solid right there. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit the bind button here. And I'm 16 telemetry on. And there it goes. You see how the red's blinking? Yeah. So it's working. So now okay, it's so D16 is going to work. D16 for... is it. All right. And okay. then let me get out of this. We turn it off. Turn okay. it back on. And we should have now a solid green light. And we do. So let's plug that into beta flight because this matches more of what you're doing anyway. Is this XT30 or XT60? XT60. Ooh, that's 60. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And your batteries we're going to give you will go with that too. So okay. you'll be okay there. All right. So let's go ahead and put. Let's put our. Telemetry lost. That's just that. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to beta flight and let me, let me. Okay. Uh, you that. plugged in the beta flight. Okay. Okay. I'm in beta flight right now. So, okay. and what beta flight? Are you running the new version of beta flight? 4.2. 4.2. Okay. okay. That's what I'm going to run here. Okay. So we'll use beta flight 4.2. Here, you can turn that if you'd like. Let's okay. try to get a little bit there. Oh, this is good. Okay. Oh, I'm so uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and wait for this to populate the. Uh, lost. Stop talking. Okay. This thing, no, no, something. no. It's just it's too close to the radio. Let me just move this here. There, I'll put it on the ground. Okay. Uh, click connect. All right. So now we're in. So do you want to do you want me to set this up to match your radio setting? Well, you're going to bind anyway, but um, I'm going to. This is how I do my radio, right? So this is my arm. This is my modes. That's okay. my failsafe. What do you usually do? Okay. Now I have four switches on top. Okay. Like and this, one, two, three, four. Okay, this switch over here is arm disarm. That's your arm disarm, okay. This switch here is modes. Okay. This switch here would be. You're talking about this one here? Buzzer. Okay. And that would be flip over after crash. No, okay. I may not, will this flip over after crash? Uh, well, yeah, I guess it could. Does it have sure. a buzzer? Uh, I don't know if it has, no, but, I, th I don't know if it has a buzzer. It may, it may do the beeping through. Let me see. We see something on how they've configured this. Then we won't this. need them. Uh, no, because you could, you would use your buzzer. You could use your, um, let me look here. If they have it set up, they do not have that set up. Okay. If there's no Telemetry buzzer, no recovered. problem. No flip after crash, no problem. You can still use flip after crash. I Will mean, it flip over after crash? Yeah, it, should, it, would, it wouldn't I have a problem. I don't like to do that. <laughs> Why'd you ask me? You know, I don't like to do that. Okay, well then we won't okay. use that. Easy arm. Okay. The, the, Except that you don't have any buttons here on your radio. No, no, Only got, on the back. It's an eight-channel radio. Yeah, I know. I'm just wondering if I have one up here because. Here, here, here. What is your letters like? Here, right here. It's just like. Oh, this. it's that that you have. Yeah, but I have the, the pro version. Okay, okay. Okay. So now, that's that's what I'm looking at. S A S B S C S D. That's what I want to know. Arm here and modes. Okay. Arm here, yep. arms here. Okay, you got it. Okay. So, but it is still S A S B S C S D. So I, I need to see that. So those are the letters are right there. That's what I'm trying to match. So I'm going to oh. match that to here. Okay. okay. So S A is going to be your arm. So let me make sure of that. Uh, let me go to receiver here and make sure what we have. Okay. So none of these channels are mapped, so it won't make a difference to you. So we're going to do, we're going to do modes will be auxiliary one will be arm. Mm -hmm. Auxiliary two. I'm gonna power this off a second because the VTX is gonna get hot. So while I set this aside, let's program this radio and hopefully it'll match what you've got. Okay. So we're gonna go and we're gonna uh, hold our model button down and we're gonna press page and we're gonna go right here. So 05. How? Oh, it's still on. Okay. Will it? Will it bind with that radio? Yeah. 
So we're going to call this arm. So we're going to call your first one arm. Go ahead, I'm listening. That Radio Master form is my favorite for my hands. That's why I like the Radio Master. Okay. It feels good in my hand. Not that it's any better than any radio, because it it's probably okay. not. But no, it's it's fine. I mean, there every radio has its limitations. Yeah. <laughs> but if it works for you, then you've got no problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to make <coughs> we're going to make this the arm, and then we're going to go down here and we're going to hit it and we're going to say S A, <coughs> which correlates to this switch here, right here. Okay. Okay, that's that's, that's arm, S -A. This arm. Right. So let me let me do a return here. Now, the next one is going to be mode. So let me just set this up. Okay, and then let's go here. M O D. Oh, darn it, hang on, I messed this up. And I'm real picky about this, so you don't have to do this, but I do it. Oh, that's great. That okay, so bo really mode smart. is done. Okay, and then we're going to go. So now SC, uh, which is this button here, is for what on yours? Forget those two, just these two. This you don't want mode. these two? Well, that would be, what would I do with those two? Well, you said flip over crash, I guess. Okay. All right. So then if that's the case, so what we're going to do is, um, then we're going to go to our next page and we're going to set those. Let me get rid of this one. No, no. If I, if I can get the mode set up and get the um, arm switch set up, I'm, I'm good to go. That's so crazy that you have your arm switch and your mode switch on the same side. That's, yeah. that's, that's crazy. <laughs> Well, okay, well, that's what I, I mean. Do. That's cool if you're comfortable with it. It's like for me, I would I would accidentally hit my arm switch every time then and disarm my quad. I know it. That'd be my luck. Oh. Um, all right, so channel six is going to be mode. So let's name that mode. I got used to that setup with uh, Emacs E6. Right on. All right, so we're good there. So now we can go. And now what you're going to see is when I flip this, okay? Yep. See how that's moving? Forget this part right here. What we want to do is we want to look at arm. So what I want to know is this. When you have your radio, is it when you flip the switch up that it arms? Yes. Okay. So this is a three-way switch on here, but yours is a two-way. So I'm just going to set this up like this. When you pull it towards you, it's armed. Middle and, and disarmed. Okay? So that would be the equivalent of when you have this switch here, pulling it up is the equivalent of that. Okay. It's in arm mode. Okay? Yeah, okay? Now, what do you want for your modes? What are the modes that you set? All of them. I set up uh, angle mode. Okay. What do you like? Where is that on your switch? Here. That's okay. Angle mode is going to be here. Away and from then, you. Okay. This is angle mode. Yeah. Okay. So let me make that happen. All right. That's right here. Okay. Then what about horizon mode? Middle. Middle. Middle is horizon. Okay. Got that. And then what is the last mode? Air. Air mode. Yeah. Okay. So air mode will be right here. So let me just add that. And there you go, and that's air mode. Okay. Okay. So you have angle is yes. there, horizon is there, yes. and then air mode is there. Yes, now sir. your air mode is air mode with acro, right? That's your. Okay. So then that's that. Um, what about a fail safe? Do you not use a fail safe? No pulse. I set up for no pulse. Okay. Okay. Safe. So you set your fail safe. Okay. So then now what we're going to do is let's just try it out. Let's make sure it works. Okay. Okay. So I'm goes. I'm just going to put it here and start it. That's all I want to do is put it right here. I'm going to disconnect. Let me click save. Let me make sure that our setup shows this is good and it is. Our receiver is functioning like it's supposed to and it is. Left hand mode. Yeah. Yep. 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 Uh, okay. okay. And so let's go ahead and save and disconnect and then let's unplug this and all I want to do. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. All I want to do is just make sure I'm going to put this in horizon mode, and there we go. They're spinning, yippee. They're quiet. Yeah, they're quiet. Jeez. So that is good to go. Uh, I can, uh, let me see. Oh, yippee. Okay, so that's done. This is done. You should be able to now just bind it, and you should be able to get it going. So let me hang this back up real quick. Looks pretty, looks pretty darn close, yeah. yeah. Well, what I'll do is I'll get it bound, and then what I will do is... Um, you want me to... I'll, I'll then put a battery in it, and put, get it bound, put a battery in, uh, that's going to do it, and then what I'll do is look at the video, or look at the uh, 
the goggles mm -hmm. to, and check the switches and everything. Okay. And that that should tell me if I'm in good good or bad. And yep. then arm it and then arm it and see if it spins up. And you should be okay. Should be okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to try to stick this on for you? Oh please. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know what you're doing. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm going to give it a shot. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm going to give it a shot. <laughs> So let's just see how they want this done. So my guess is that this goes on. Uh, hmm. I guess I'll just put it on here first. <laughs> okay. Looks like you. Activity alarm. Oh my god, I forgot to turn this off. What? Where's oh I forgot this portal radio. My bad. <laughs> still on. I forgot I was still doing stuff. Alright, let me turn that off. <clears throat> Looks like you've got everything. <laughs> oh well. Uh I'm good. Let's see if we can. There we go. Alright. Let's leave that there. Okay, now let's do the next one. Okay, well, that, if, if that means my binding options are open, I can bind to a jumper T light, possibly a jumper T light D16. Mm -hmm. I can bind to a Radio Master T8 Pro D16 or even a T8 light if I wanted to. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can, you can, because of the firmware that's on that RXSR. You can bind to all of those. Okay, okay. All right. Now you can upgrade the firmware on that RXSR, but then you would not be able to bind to this okay. anymore. So, all right. Let's go ahead and let's hope we've done this right. Let's take this piece off. We didn't check for for the, the camera, did we? Uh, what do you mean check for the camera? We didn't look and see if the oh. camera was giving back video. I will. I will do that here in just a second. Okay. Okay. So now let's take this off. So you put the tape on, and then you oh, take. Oh, I see. And then it's got it's, it's, it's double sided. Double sided. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. <clears throat> I'm learning. Yeah. So am I. Well, it's not going to be flying weather for a week or so, so I can at least take this off in the house, and fly it in angle mode as a test. Oh, that came out nice. There you go. Yeah, you could do that. Looks beautiful. Yeah, that came oh, out looks nice. perfect. Hey, all right. Let's do the other side. Yeah, looks good. Yeah, I'll just I'll just take it off the ground in angle mode in a house and just give it a little spin. And then maybe No, I'll wait. I'm gonna have to wait until the school opens up. You can fly out here when you want. Saturday. Take it out here. Come up here when you're mm -hmm. it's fine. Well just let me know when you're coming up. Okay. Yeah, if I come out here and fly, I will text yeah, you. Yeah, just let me know and I'll, I'll let you know. be yeah. fine. No, oh, that'll be great. No, I'm be out in your big open spot out there where I can hopefully miss everything. Oh. <laughs> There's plenty of room out there. There's plenty of room. Yeah, I'm not going to fly anywhere near the pond for a while. Uh, it's I'm spooked um, because I can't see the branches on the trees, no leaves. That means if I hit a tree and end up in a water, I'm, I'm going to be in trouble. So oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you... Um, stay away from the pond. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you bring the small ones back. We'll waterproof them for you if you like. I say so, again? Bring the small ones in here and I'll waterproof them for you. Don't worry about it. Okay. At least that way, if you do end up at the pond and you do recover them, they're not ruined. Okay. Well, you've given me confidence to at least put a battery in it and see what happens. <laughs> and if if it doesn't if it doesn't come alive and blink and everything, and if I can't get video, then I'll just use it as spare parts for the other one I got. That's fair. No problem. All right. This way. Oh, this is this is perfect. Well, this is as good, better, than buying from Get FPV <laughs> because uh, I'm recording. <laughs> I've learned so much. Well, I like it at PV. They've been. I good do to too. Me. They're fine. They're, they're a good company. They're good to me. But we all have our our things, and for me, at least, I can sit with you and work on it, right? And that's the fun part what for I'm, me. What I'm happy about is to be able to see some things happen under my eyes, 
so that I have a pretty good idea. Look how good that looks. Looks great. That's that's definitely bright enough to see. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this here. Okay, this is gonna be the monitor. Okay. And we're gonna turn this on and we're gonna make sure that we have video. Good. Now I'm not plugging in the uh, antenna yet because they're not gonna be on that long, but let's just see. So let's do a scan. There you go. We've got video. Okay. No, you tell you tell Blake at at uh, Get FPV that I enjoyed everything he's done for me. I'm happy and everything. Oh, uh, don't worry. I will pass the message along. I have, matter of fact, they're the first company I ever bought from when I got into drone. So I can't say anything about them except that I I, I did business with them, and yeah. I still do. I think I bought my V2 goggles from the first pair I got. So man, there's a lot of business to go around. If people would just stop thinking that they're the only ones that deserve the business, it would be a much better place. Well, they've been over backwards for me. Yep. And so people. I'm not going to complain. And, and if, if I'm going to buy a micro, uh, the chances are it's going to come from them. I think that's fair. But I have, I have, I love my micros, and I have, hate to admit it, but I'm afraid <laughs> there's limitations to micros. Understood, understood. All right, so everything is going in here. Okay. okay, you've got the rest of your bumpers in here. Bumper stickers, good. Bumpers. Yeah, you've got your bumpers, the stickers, uh, the, the tape, the double-sided tape. Okay. There's four pieces of tape for four additional bumpers. And the camera mount and everything. Camera mount is in there. I just put it in there. Uh, you also have these uh, camera protection pieces that come with it. You put that on the outside there to protect it in case you okay. crash. Okay. And your antenna uh, is right. I just saw it. Where is it? Right here. It's right here. For your VTX is right here. What's it, where's that the VTX, the screws on the back. Okay. Oh, okay. So just make sure to put that on before you fly. Okay, okay. okay. I can't put it on the box because the box won't close. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Okay, okay that means I have to go. That's an R RSPC. That's a right hand thread. But this is a right hand. Yeah, this is a right hand. This is uh, SMA. No, the, the uh, this guy. Yeah, it's a right hand. Okay, that. Okay, I've got right hand. Yeah. I got from you a long time ago. Okay. Yeah. Then I've, I'll be bringing up because I won't have dipoles now. I've got an actual right hand thread, mm -hmm. uh, um, whatever you want to call it. Okay. All right, so let me put this in. And this sucker is good to go. Congratulations on your new drone. Thank uh, you. Let me put no, the, uh, the. No, I'm excited. Extra props right here. That, okay, that's the one that comes with the drone. That's right. Okay, and you've got. Two more that I can buy. Uh, I'm gonna go check to make okay. sure. Yeah, let me just. I want to make sure this box will close. I never get these boxes closed after I open okay. them. Uh, it's gonna close. Okay, so there's that. So okay. take that from me, and then let me go check. Um, see batteries what, and props. That's right. So we're doing. How many batteries did you want? Three, please. Three batteries. Okay. Okay. So give me one second to do that. I'll be right back. Oh, and I guess what we'll do is we'll stop the video now. So good. All right. Hope everybody had fun. Sorry. Forgot about y'all. Um, and uh, we'll talk to you later, guys. Have a good weekend and uh, go spend time with your family. You never know how much time you left. Go make the most of it. Let me flip over here so Larry can say bye to you guys. Hold on. Here we go. Uh, where'd he go? Larry, say bye to everybody. Bye, guys. This has, <laughs> been, this has been entertaining and fun and very informative. All right. All right, guys. So listen, y'all take care and we'll talk to you soon. Uh, have a good weekend, guys. Peace. Just turn it off here. Just a second.